one of my favorite stories is the P51 and P38. Um, I was coming out with it, and it was going to be really awesome, really neat. And I was, and I put it in, in, into production, or yeah, I had the test ones built, and they were testing it, and and I was having them tested out all, all in secret. We were doing it like at night, or I think we were flying them at night, so no one would actually see the P51 or the P38 because it was going to be a surprise. So, um, so, and we were actually building the the, the manufacturing plant for them in secret because. Because there, there was this air show coming up that was like the world air show and everything. And every year or every other year, every few years, I came out with a new aircraft. And everybody was like, ooh, ah, Lucifer's done it again. You know, the new aircraft. So with the P-38 and P-51, I was having my people work really hard. And they were, and they were building it and they were testing it at night all in secret. So nobody could see it, basically, because it was going to be a surprise. And, um, and, we were pl and I planned it for the, for the air show. Um, basically, the, 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 there's a world air show that's, uh, that's always around where everyone shows off the new cool stuff. So I was bringing it out, the P-38, P-51, and I believe the Flying Fortress. Anyway. Anyway, I, uh, they were going to fly in the next day on the... Um, I think they were going to wait a, wait a day or whatever, but, but then they were going to fly in. I, I, was, I was timing it so people would think that, that I didn't have anything at the air show. They were gonna think that, that that I had nothing. So, so anyway, so I um, so I told them to go ahead and wait a day or wait or two day because you come in and you enter or whatever, and then and then and then they see what you got, you know, the first day. And I was gonna surprise them the second or third day. So anyway, so they were supposed to fly in like the three days in or or a little bit in past the first day that that the aircraft uh, fly in. And most people, I think there's you're supposed to if you're gonna be registered, you have to register the first day. So what I think is, but because I'm Lucifer, I was able to register anyway or something like that, or it wouldn't matter. I could come in three days late or something like that, or two days late. Anyway, I was going to come in a couple days late, though, because it was going to be a surprise. Anyway, somebody bombed the air show, if, if, if I remember right, and blew up all the planes. I don't know why. Anyway, there's this thing, there's this air show, and I think what happened is somebody bombed all... I had my aircraft off to the side or something like that. And there's this big air show. Everybody had all their new stuff there and everything. And I think someone bombed the air show and blew it all up. I don't know. You know, anyway, my stuff was was in a uh, in a secret hangar off to the side on, on this base where no one could find it, and it was guarded, heavily guarded. So anyway, so so like the first day of the air show or the or or or, or, or so like someone comes through and they like hit the air show really hard like. Pfft, if I remember right, they hit the air show really hard, like boom, 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 and destroy all the aircraft at the air show. I don't know why. Anyway, um, anyway though, my aircraft though, but so so I, I think the story goes is that my aircraft were in the hangar, so they weren't damaged. So my guys rush over to the hangar and get in the aircraft and actually go after the squadron that actually bombed the air show or something like that. I think that's the way it went. And we shot down a couple of aircraft or something like that. Anyway, it was it was something bad like that where it's like, well, and then we were at a state of war. I was like, well, so much for the air show. Anyway, it was really annoying. But my aircraft were supposed to be for civilian use only, though, and not actually carry bombs or anything. Like, they didn't even have gun racks. I think they had to convert them over to weapons or something like that. Anyway, though, the air show got blown up, and we were at a state of war, and everybody, and, but, but the thing was, was, was that they were using older aircraft, but more of them, but I had this new aircraft that no one had known about, and we were took to the skies, and we were able to shoot down a bunch of aircraft, and other things. It actually won the war, because they didn't think I had anything, or something like that. They were waiting, I guess maybe they thought, I don't know, I don't know what they thought. Anyway, though... Point was though that I had this aircraft and they thought that they could just win me or whatever because they thought I hadn't researched anything or had they had somewhat of a new aircraft or something but nothing like the P fifty one so and I was already in production and I already had like five thousand of them already or a thousand of them already built so I was like well so much for the air show so much for surprising people so the surprise was I guess <laughs> they surprised me there's a war so we had this big war you know that's where the where the wars really started is they bombed the air show. Killed a bunch of people. Tried to. St they might have tried to steal a bunch of aircraft. I don't know. What, it went bad though. It was really bad. I, I forget the details of it. If I looked at the maps and looked at everything, I'd probably figure it out. But anyway, though, so we were at a state of war, and basically, I was barely, you know, I was barely able to defend myself with this new aircraft, which I had spent a lot of money on. But 
anyway, they apparently didn't think I had it or didn't think I had anything that could match them. But my P-51 was much better, and so was my P-38. So, anyway, we won the war um, using them, I guess. I don't really, I forget what the details were, but... Anyway, it was a beautiful, wonderful aircraft, and they were supposed to be for pleasure use, and they were supposed to be fun and not epic kill, but it's like I try and do something cool and neat that's going to be fun to fly, and it turns into a weapon of war, so anyway, it sucked. Anyway, but I was going to surprise everyone and be like, ooh, look, we did it again, and anyway, it was massive death and destruction. And we barely fought them off, like I say. I don't know who attacked. I guess South Africa, maybe, or someone. And I forget what the... I found out at the time who attacked, or whatever. And we did shoot down the aircraft, but... Um, but anyway, though. Anyway, there's a bunch of bombing, and I guess it was South Africa attacking. I forget who it was, though. I don't think anybody else would attack me other than South Africa. Like, they always had it out for me, so... Anyway, but we barely defended ourselves, and... You know, because I had those P-51s already built. I already had a thousand of them in, in production and already built, or 400 of them already built. So so anyway, so when they came to fly into America and destroy me, they were already built, or wherever they were being built, I forget. There was a secret location. So anyway. So, yeah, I had like 100 or 60, 60 bombers. I think I had 60 bombers or 30 bombers, or 30. They weren't bombers at the time, though. They were actually just passenger aircraft that were going to be cool and they actually had to convert them over to bombers real quick like they, they're already produced as passenger aircraft and so you know when the war started they had to cut all the holes in the floor and cut it out and just mount everything real quick you know all willy-nilly but they were actually meant to be passenger aircraft and they literally took a saw to the aircraft to, to cut in the bomb bays because they weren't even designed to have bombs they were designed to have seats and stuff the Flying Fortress never had guns. They literally just went, okay, it's a gun mount. You know, with the with the Flying Fortress. It was never it was never supposed to have any weapons. The little bubble was for a camera thing and stuff like that. So anyway, and they literally just took a sawzall to them and cut cut the first ones in, and then the next ones were produced with guns. But those aircraft were actually not supposed to have guns. But they went ahead and they designed it so there was room for a gun just in case. And I was like, well, they were asking me. I was like, well, just in case, let's go ahead and put in the stuff as if we were going to have guns but not have guns. So, so anyway, so that's what they did. They had the little, they had everything there so it could have guns, but it just wasn't made with guns. So all they did was just cut it out and just stick the guns in there and then hook up the trigger wire. I mean, it was already set up, so it could have guns, but it just didn't have the holes and gun and stuff for it. So they could just... So they just went... So because, I mean, I was like, well, it might become an, a fighter aircraft, and like I might as well build it as a fighter aircraft, but not actually have it be have the holes for the fighter aircraft. So that's what I did. So the first run of 30... Bombers and P-51s, they literally just went, and said, okay, there's a gun mount. Okay, let's go. Because I had other aircraft anyway, so. Anyway, so then we put them into production. I had like 30 or so Flying Fortresses already when the war started, and probably 120 P-51s. That was like my first run. And then, um, and then I was going to wait and see how the orders did. So, but then we were at war, so it's like, oh shit, and, um, and basically they really quickly, within three days or a week, they converted them all over and were like, and, and we were defending, and we were defending our country and getting bombed or something, so that's how it happened really. Anyway, I used to know, I used to have more details about how the war started and what happened, but I was like, shit, okay, convert them over to weapons. That's all I had, really. I didn't have a big stock of the other stuff. Like, I had sold most of them off, so. So, anyway, I just had the new aircraft. That was it. So, otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to defend America. I guess. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just know that I had them. 